This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hey guys, today I have four global company mods for you guys to take a look at. Three of them all are involved in the same general production chain. And then the fourth one is just throwing it into this video because it's by the same mod author as the other three. Uh, they are all by Edward007, and you can find all four of these mods over at modhub.us. So first off, we have the coffee bean greenhouse. Now in this greenhouse, you'll need to put manure, fertilizer, and water. And what you'll get out of it are roasted coffee beans. So you can put this building down for $131,000 and it costs $50 a day. This is a rather large structure. I wanna make sure that there's plenty of room when you put this down. See, it rotates on its center here, and all of the business end is here on this side of the building. I'm going to go ahead and put that down right here. We have our fertilizer input, our manure input, and our water input. And something that I noticed with all of these production facilities at least the three related to the production of Coca-Cola, is that you cannot purchase the inputs. So usually in global company mods, you seem to have the ability to purchase inputs, but uh, not with any of these. Let's go ahead and get this factory up and running by supplying its required inputs. I've got a trailer here with ten th or with five thousand liters of fertilizer. Fertilizer input only accepts ten thousand liters, and you want to come up here right around the sign and dump that in. And what you'll see is you'll see it load in pallets of fertilizer, and we'll also see the coffee bean plants kind of starting to come up and show up in the building. Let's unload our load of manure. Into the building. Just like the fertilizer, we're gonna to wanna to back up close to the sign here. See when we unload the manure it basically forms a pile in here. The fertilizer is 10,000 liters, manure holds 25,000 liters, and water holds 50,000 liters. Then we get 30,000 liters of caffeine before it stops its production. Go ahead and put our water in. So, and once we start to unload the water, see that we get some animation going on inside the building. Our light to indicate that the building is on. We have our coffee beans, and then basically we have our misters watering the coffee beans. We have greenhouse here, overview. Produces 1,000 liters per hour of output. And something that I noticed with this particular mod is it doesn't auto generate. Uh, the pallets do not auto spawn like the other ones do. So basically, when we want to get output, we have to come up here, 
is you click on the output and basically add up the total number of pallets we want and we need to hit spawn pallet. While we are waiting for that to uh, do a little production, let's take a look at the next factory, which is the sugar factory. Go again to placeables and then global company. We have the sugar factory, $122,000, $30 a day. The sugar factory is not quite as large as the greenhouse. See, when we rotate it, it rotates a little skewed off to the side. There go. Now, the sugar factory takes sugar beets and sugar cane. At this point, uh, there was a comment in the, uh, in the mod posting where someone asked if they could modify it so it took sugar cane or sugar beets. So it sounds like the mod author might make that change. So if I do see a new version of this mod get released, I will link to it. Maybe something you want to check out for. Coming over to the side. Read out. Let's go get our load of sugar beets. Now this particular factory does output the required items or the pallets, I should say, automatically. You don't need to request them to spawn. Then unload our sugar beets into here. We can see this outputs 1,000 liters per hour. All right, we've got a little bit of output. See over here, this is where the sugar pallets spawn. Basically, they spawn one per pad until it's full. And then let's go ahead and talk about, while we're waiting for that to produce, let's talk about the Coca-Cola factory. Go to, once again, placeables, and then global company, we have the Coca-Cola factory, $123,700, $50 per day. It's a little bit bigger than the sugar factory. Rotates on its center. Put that down. Then the Coca-Cola factory takes water, sugar, and caffeine. This is where the pallets of Coca-Cola are going to appear. We're going to bring the sugar and caffeine. And the water goes over here on this side. Let's go ahead and Get some water for this particular factory. And we already have made up some pallets of caffeine and some pallets of caffeine, some pallets of coffee beans and sugar, so we can demonstrate this. And while we're waiting for that to unload, 
In addition to the Sugar Factory and Coca-Cola Factory, we have a Coca-Cola Cell Point and a Sugar Cell Point. Just put those down over here. So we have the Coca-Cola Cell Point here. And then we have the Sugar Cell Point. Here. Go over here and take a look at these. The first thing you'll notice is the sugar cell point. Well, it's levitating a little bit. That should hopefully get fixed. Uh, maybe when the mod author adjusts the factory so it only takes sugar beets or sugar cane, that'll get lowered down to the ground. We have Edwards Bar, which is the cell point for Coke. Take a look here. Now, Edwards Bar, we have two entries for Edwards Bar. One for sugar, one for Coke. Then some of our other cell points here are also accepting sugar, Coke, and caffeine. And this one we haven't gotten to yet. We'll take a look at that one here in a minute. Let's take a look over here at the finished products. So here we have a full 4,000 liter pallet of sugar. Here we have a thousand liter pallet of coffee beans. Okay. Let's go ahead and take the coffee and sugar over to the cook plant. Get it up and running. There's our caffeine. We have our sugar. Little bit of an animation on the uh, sugar bags going away and there we go we've seen our first pallet of coke spawn in let's go back up here to the first factory the coffee bean greenhouse See that we have just a little bit of caffeine at this point. Let's bump up production a little bit. There we go. So now we have 1167 as far as our output goes. So in order to get caffeine or coffee beans, I should say, out of the greenhouse, we basically have to go in here and we have to get to manually tell to manually spawn a pallet. And they will basically spawn in here on this side of the building. The sugar factory auto spawns. As you can see we already have two full pallets and we're working on our third. At the 
current price structure though, this is really gonna this would really make sugar beets and sugar cane profitable. Let's see what we get when we take this over to the sell point here. Four thousand liters of sugar. That is what? Four thousand dollars or so. A little more. And now we have our production for Coca Cola. Let's go ahead and take that off the pallet. The 4,000 liters will do a pallet of Coca Cola. Take this over here. And we get $1,244 a pallet of coca-cola so that is basically the caffeine or the coffee bean sugar factory and coca-cola plant it's the three production facility building to get coca-cola and then by the same mod author we have a whiskey distillery so we have that here the whiskey distillery one hundred twenty two thousand seven hundred dollars this takes Corn, barley, and water. I did it right. I left enough room. Put this down. Here. Here we go. We have the Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey Distillery. Bring our water in over here. It's like the Coke facility. Then our wheat, barley. Well, this is supposed to be maize and barley. Sign and the global company is a little off. Corn, barley, water. And we can't buy any of those. And we hold 40,000 liters of whiskey. Let's run back on over here. And I've got a full tank of water, barley, and maize, or corn. Let's go ahead and get this facility up and running. So in addition to the whiskey distillery, there also is a whiskey sell point. Let's go ahead and put that down. It's another Edwards bar. As we've already seen, it does add the output to the other cell points. We don't necessarily need to put down these specific cell points if we don't want to. What would be nice is if this Edwards cell point also took Coca-Cola and then the other Edwards cell point also took whiskey. So just like the other Edwards bar that had Coke, this one has whiskey. Jack Daniels kind of set up there.
and add our whiskey or our barley and our corn. Have our production active 1,000 liters per hour. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. There we go. So we have 4,000 liters of whiskey. Look at that. This pallets look really nice. Let's go over here and see our full pallets of Coke. We must be out of product. Out of caffeine, okay. Let's go over here and sell our whiskey pallet and see how much money we made out of water, maize, and barley. Seven thousand dollars, pretty good haul, right there. So, guys, there you go. We've got a coffee bean greenhouse, which basically produces caffeine. Okay. We then have a sugar factory, which produces pallets of refined sugar. We have the Coca-Cola factory that takes the sugar and caffeine from the previous two buildings, and with water produces coca-cola and then we have finally from the same mod author edward 007 we have the whiskey distillery that takes maize corn and water and produces pallets of jack daniels whiskey included with the whiskey distillery the cook plant and the sugar factory we have the edwards bar sell point our purchase point for coke sugar and whiskey and it also appears that all three of these production facilities register themselves in with the other cell points so all of our in-game cell points now also buy whiskey sugar coca-cola and coffee beans so guys let me know what you think in the comments of these four production facilities let me know what you think of the caffeine sugar and coca-cola production chain in general and until next time happy farming be sure to like subscribe and click that notification bell